Leave my speech on climate change. Here's my note cards. Climate change and its effects have been a hot subject in every country for a variety of reasons. In several regions, the average temperature has either risen or decreased in the last decade. The typical amount of rain that a country or area may receive has increased or decreased dramatically, and the winters have gotten significantly colder. This has exposed a massive amount of new issues in probably every corner of the globe, and it significantly impacts our daily lives and how we go about doing things. Droughts have become increasingly common and severe in several regions of Asia and Africa in recent decades and killing, a lot of, killing off a lot of natural environment, the rainforest, the crops that they can grow, and killing off all of it has a very bad impact. There have also been more severe, frequent, and long-lasting storms. The glaciers are melting, which is causing the water levels to rise and the water level rising is not good at all. It's approaching a dangerous level as we speak. The most significant cha challenges are global warming and the greenhouse effect. Climate change may be attributed to two primary factors, a natural or a human-caused change. Natural occurrences could include these examples, volcanic eruptions, oceanic currents, changes in the atmosphere, Changes in the orbit and solar fluctuations all contribute to climate change in different ways. A considerable amount of sulfur dioxide is released by volcanic eruptions, which, can cool, which will cool the planet down. So volcanic eruptions are not as bad as we seem to think. The sun's beams are partially, block, partially blocked by the dust and ashes. A single eruption has the potential to have a long-term impact on this climate. Ocean's, ocean currents, which make up a major portion of the Earth's surface, also have a significant influence on climate. We know that their seasons exist as a result of the Earth's orbit and that even a small tilt in the Earth's orbit may produce a drastic variations in the climate we have which could kill everything we do and change our daily lives severely. Pollution created by humans as well as the chopping down of trees has had a significant part in climate change. The concentration of CO2, which is carbon dioxide, in the atmosphere as of july 2021 is the highest it has ever been in human history so obviously our generation and our parents generation and our parents generation parents parents generation got it severely messed up and we are living in the result of a bad science experiments bad times to be alive 11 percent of all global Gas emissions caused by humans are due to deforestation. Deforestation is the chopping down of forests and trees. The climatic changes are also having an impact on biodiversity, which is a very important for the plants and animals for maintaining their habitat and their ecosystem. It has also impacts human society and made it difficult for us to survive both physically and psychologically. The droughts are destroying the crops that we grow every year in different areas and without those crops a lot of people go hungry and prices will rise so it change, makes life very difficult when those floods kill the crops off. The increase in average temperature during summer and decrease in average temperature during winters have led to the increase in the consumption of energy. This is a lot more to the climatic changes that meet our eyes. It's a deeper and more problematic issue than what it just seems. Natural climate solutions such as restoring the degraded forest could create as many as 39 jobs per million spent. That's a job creation rate more than six times higher than the oil and gas industry. So obviously there's a plan that we can take into consideration to try and fix climate change before it gets too bad to where we can never fix it. Thank you.